Hello and welcome to Endless Mode, I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And we're here with what kind of looks to be the work commute. Yeah, we got some people going to either a uniform job or a school. We got this fancy clangy boy. Very jiggly. Yeah. What's up, Padre? Yeah, cool. We just finished out the pink line, so now we have Captain Cuttlefish's shoes. <laughs> Ew. They look very comfy. I suppose. They're, they're not specifically his, because he's still wearing his, but they're the same style. He can be twinsies. I suppose. He's, yeah, okay, he still is. Yeah. Alright. No, them comfort souls. <laughs> so. Blue line. Baller size station. Get to the goal in the baller before time runs out. Ah, one yeah. of those where you have to navigate using just the special. Yeah. Gonna American Gladiators our way across the stage here. Oh man, it is. It's an atmosphere. Yes, That's it cool. is. Ah, I watched a lot of that <laughs> show. Uh, it's the best thing on the USA Network for a while. It was. Uh, and I don't know. Everyone seemed very wholesome. So, the gym's a fire <laughs> And, you know, he volunteers at the local this and does that. And, uh, plus, all of the gladiators had, uh, like, superhero names. Oh, yeah. Like Atlas and uh, Laser Tower. And I'm like, oh, man. Rob Liefeld could have created any of these characters if he was... I mean... <laughs> They're a little more wholesome. They don't have blood or talent or anything in there. <laughs> Although, watch, some of the comments is going to remind me that in a later season there was a talon, probably. I, I think I actually do remember a talon. Oh, boy. But, uh... No, they, they, they sound like they could be members of, uh... You know, any 90s superhero team, like the New Warriors or somebody. Oh, sure. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> Okay. Take the tilt into account. Oh, oh crap. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't be even a little bit stressful if that uh, sniper was there, I don't think. <laughs> that does just add a sense of urgency to everything. Yeah. Okay. Ha! I win! No, that works! You, you got the atmosphere onto the, uh... On the little pad the thing. Little pad thing. Gotta have the smoke go off, and you get your point, and... Good things. Yeah. Good times. And we got ourselves a... What is that? A slow your roll mole. What? We have construction moles now? <laughs> what even is this line? What were you? <laughs> the junior mark is what you get before you hit rank four. Oh, okay. It must be. So over. I think we're getting signage. <laughs> that seems to be the theme of these mem cakes. Uh, great. Alright. Although, uh, do Octarians get the, the newbie know. signage or any of that? That's a good question. That's the easy breezy sweet ride station. Ride to the tower. Okay, so. So you're going to be an easy rider then. Mm. I love that song so much. It's just so <laughs> over the top. Okay, so we're going to. Also possibly responsible for naming the heavy metal genre. Really? Yeah, because uh, of the line Heavy Metal Thunder. Ah. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> I should have realized. Oh, tower control. Yeah, like right. cruising down the highway, Heavy Metal Thunder. What happened to Heavy Metal? Uh, it just migrated. I suppose. 
I mean, there's still plenty of independent folks that do it. It's just not uh, the, uh, the popular music right now. Well, I mean, not States. even that, but it's just so different than it used to be. Oh, sure. Lots more growly. I suppose there. I suppose there's something to that. Um, like, is Judas Priest still hardcore? I mean, I would assume that it's like how rock has changed and shifted in tone. Uh, it's probably still metal, but it's like classic metal, maybe? Or maybe just metal. I think everything else that's metal gets a subcategory now. Like, you know, speed metal, or symphonic metal, or viking metal. Because uh, there's, there's stuff that's not growly, and that's uh, not uh, how fast can you strum your guitar. I suppose. Like, uh... Viking folk metal. I suppose that is a genre, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not just putting words together. Like, that is a real, for real genre. No. And before we changed uh, music providers at work, we actually had a Viking metal station that I listened to after hours. Yes, we did. That was good times. <laughs> yeah. But, alas, we don't get to customize our music as much anymore. Um, I saw someone who was doing a study on uh, the effects of repetitive music lists. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, I think we were specifically doing it with like Christmas music. Uh, because that is the time of year where the music tends to get a bit oh, yeah, yeah. samey. Uh, uh, if, if you listen to Christmas music for more than a few days in a row, it causes actual mental damage. Right. <laughs> well, that was easy. That must be the easy version of that stage, because we did the hard one already. Oh, the I Ship It logo. Okay. I was curious. I mean, I've seen shirts with that logo on it, but uh, I had no idea what it was advertising. Yeah, no, that's weird. Uh, I would have guessed the garage. I don't know why, but he just looks like he's on his way to fix something. Just ink it in. Shooter mix station. Bust all targets before the time runs out. Well, I'm probably not fighting a squad of octolings for this one. Probably not. God, what are you up to there, CQ? Jeez. Off the counter. <laughs> It's like spraying a cat with a water bottle to get it off the curtains. Oh, oh, hello. It's a it's a shooting gallery. Well. <laughs> Well, I think I'm gonna have to take a second try at this one. At least now we know what to expect, though. Okay. Oh. Pretty I well, think actually. this might be the easy to get thing. <laughs> oh, it is on a line to get a thing. <laughs> this is stuff that everyone would have to do. Okay. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas I want to say that uh, Girl Power Station, for instance, was not on a line that you have to do. Fair enough. Ink it real good. Ink it station. Ink back turf and get to the goal. Ah, that's... I think that's a salt and pepper reference. You'd know more than me. Like, ah, push it. Push it real good. Oh yeah, I can see that. Now the only the only station I really listened to growing up was classic rock, so I used I used to listen to like a lot of music apparently. <laughs> like uh, Power 96 was like the, the dance station. Yeah, but you grew up in a place where the dance music wasn't 10 years old. I I, I guess, yeah, I did grow up in Florida. Uh, okay. 
uh, my favorite was 93.9 because it was like all of the like, electronic ah, music. Ah, crud. Okay, no, like, I see. 93.9 93.9 was the reason that I like knew uh, uh, the Blue Man Group was and like Bunny Bunny and stuff like that. They even took control. They even took control of our like uh, public access station after a certain time of night and played a bunch of the weird music videos and concert performances of, like, a lot of these electronic groups. Oh, cool. Yeah. I might as well grab that. Uh, that was how I saw the, the Complex Tour concert for, uh, for the Blue Man Group, uh, before, like, years later getting on TV. <laughs> or, uh, some of the, like, crazy, uh, like, current craft videos and stuff. So what do I have to do? Oh. You can rotate those things. Uh, that probably does something. Oh. <laughs> okay, but... Oh, those rotate around on their own. So... Take the thing again. You might. It it might still have some some rotated there. Hmm. Oh, you can get to it down there now. Oh, there we go. Huh. What a strange uh, setup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah, we don't usually see those uh, help us. That's fun. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> you were doing so good too. Fighting just a little more solid path this time. I guess. Well, at least there's no time limit. They got uh, checkpoints and stuff. So True. Slow and steady wins the race. Uh, don't bonk. Yeah, that would be. Oh wow! All right. Oh, oh hi! I see. Didn't even notice you. I noticed it had big blades up there, but I wasn't sure what they were doing. But, uh, that makes sense now. Uh, oh, that doesn't work. Well, I think I think that works a little. Because you needed to ink that wall, and it's probably easier from here. You're going to have to get on top of the spreader. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, the blades themselves aren't inked. And then you need to get it back there. Oh, I see. Okay. Thankfully, they follow your ink trail everywhere, just like the, the scrubbies do. So. Yeah! Ah. There you go. Yeah. 
All right, well, next time on Endless Mode, we'll collect our last thing and make it to the promised land. Yeah. With no surprises whatsoever. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Catch you later. <laughs>